everyone, Mike Kay from the Charlotte Observer. I'm joined by fellow Panthers beat reporter Alex Zutlow. We are both two Panthers beat writers who watch the Carolina Panthers take part in their fourth training camp practice of the summer. It was an eventful one for the offense. A lot of injuries, but a lot of positive news as well as Bryce Young, Bama Bryce. He was on the move. He was making some really impressive throws. The two guys that really have benefited from Bryce Young's arm over the last couple of weeks Jonathan Mingo, Harris Marshall. Alex was there at Jonathan Mingo's press conference. He was also with me as we watched Harris Marshall make another play of the day. This development of chemistry didn't just start training camp between Mingo and Bryce. Obviously they played together last year, but this, this new era of the Mingo and Young connection really started in California this summer when the two were uh, just hung out and worked out together. They got on the same page. Uh, Mingo kind of learned who Bryce was as a person off the field. Among the things he learned, Bryce likes to get up early, <laughs> and Bryce isn't very good at baseball. But on top of that, uh, Mingo has really shined, particularly as Bryce has kind of gotten out of the pocket and uh, kind of flashed his creativity, as Mike said, kind of becoming that Bama Bryce. And Terrace Marshall, we kind of sung his praises similarly last training camp when he was really good and he really showed who he was. That's all Dave Canales cares about this training camp as well, showing who these wide receivers are. For all of our training camp coverage, especially from day four, make sure you check out the sports section of charlotteobserver.com.